Well, thank you. Good morning, everyone. It, it is a, a thrill to see everyone in the same room and uh, not over Zoom. And uh, I'm just really grateful for the opportunity to join you here today. It's good to be with the Attorney General. Uh, I have to relate to your story in that uh, it's been at least a couple of times in Washington where I've even, either been asked by the media or maybe a tourist coming through the Capitol uh, what my role is there and, and uh, whether I work in the building. So, uh, you know, thanks for sharing that and connecting it to the work. Uh, in value that government can add in, in people's day-to-day -day lives. We appreciate your service. Um, and I just want to say, um, you know, how important it is to support this campaign um, and how grateful I am uh, to be in a room of folks in the legal community and friends of the legal community who are here in New Hampshire and who show how it's done. Of course, we've got a great example uh, in individuals like Elliot Berry, who is being honored here today. Uh, Elliot's um, work uh, as a legal aid lawyer, New Hampshire stretches back uh, nearly half a century. Um, sorry to date you in that way. Before I was born. Okay, I, I, I can say it. I, I didn't want to go there necessarily. But you can measure his impact in so many different ways. Uh, in the way that he has helped shape housing law in New Hampshire, uh, but most importantly, in the impact that he has had on people's day-to-day -day lives. Uh, and that impact is profound, and we are just grateful for your example. Uh, thank you, Elliot, for all your contributions. Um, it is um, uh, an opportunity here at this breakfast uh, to sort of assess where we are in New Hampshire uh, and the challenges that we face. And I am really grateful um, that 603 Legal Aid and New Hampshire Legal Assistance continue to be out there doing the work that they are doing. Uh, the most important role that I have in Congress isn't necessarily voting on bills. Uh, but it's the direct interaction that I can have with constituents and the constituent services that we provide for our offices here in New Hampshire. I know the rest of the delegation feels that way too. Uh, we've been able to connect constituents to the resources that are available uh, through these organizations, uh, and it has in fact made a difference. So at a time where we're facing um, a, you know, an incredible housing crunch in New Hampshire, uh, a growing opportunity gap, food insecurity, uh, stresses for uh, veterans and retirees, uh, we know this work has never been more important. I think it's also important as we think about the way that the fabric of our society is being stretched, uh, the challenges to American democracy here at home. Um, we've got to ensure that individuals feel like there's an advocate in their corner, that there's a level playing field, uh, that they are able to get the results that they deserve. Uh, but we also need to pass the test as a nation that we're able to look out for the least among us, uh, and that we're able to rebuild trust in our institutions in a way that can secure American democracy over the long run. So those are some big challenges, um, but you all take it one person, one case at a time, and I'm just really appreciative uh, of the way uh, that you go about your work and that you support this campaign. Equal access to justice for all is uh, the mission of the Campaign for Legal Services, and clearly New Hampshire is a better, fairer, and more equitable place because of your contributions and your dedication. So it's an honor to be with you here this morning. Uh, I would encourage folks to reach out to our office if we can ever be of any assistance on veterans issues or on a host of other things uh, that you may come into contact with in your day-to-day -day business. And I just want to thank you all for being here to support the Campaign for Legal Services this year. Uh, everyone have a great uh, breakfast and certainly a productive professional life as you go uh, beyond the event venue here this morning. Thank you.